Sharif Endi is the newest member of Red Star Belgrade, signing from Turkish club Adana Demispor, uh, where he had a good run in the short time that he was there. Uh, center forward, six foot three, so a tall, uh, lanky center forward with speed, which is something that we need in this uh, team. Just when you think that you, we kind of thought that we had something going with Bukari and Mitrovic and, and some other players, it seems like we've been kind of lacking that. And I think that showed a lot in the match against Vojlovac that Red Star shockingly lost uh, 3-2 where they were down 3-0 at one point and they just couldn't get over over the hump to score the third goal. But uh, lack of kind of creativity that let us down as well. The thing about uh, NDI is, is the fact that he's been able to score goals at a fairly high rate wherever he has gone. So whether... Uh, his first stop in, in Bavern, which is in Belgium, didn't do too well, didn't stay there for too long. And then once he got to, went to Croatia and then to China and then to Turkey, where he started scoring more and more. And now he's kind of reached that, uh, you know, the, the height of where he's scoring goals at a high rate. Uh, eight matches this season, five goals and three assists, which is great. So he kind of fits into that uh, Olainka and Krasso. Um, sort of mold in, in in the sense that he doesn't just score goals where he can assist and get other players involved as well. And I think that's very important for any club. Uh, it's, it's great when you do have a striker who can score, you know, 20, 30 goals. But when you have also someone who can help in the attack and get other players involved, I think that's a bonus. And I think you become um, more and more of a complete player when you can do that. And I think that's something that he does very well. Um, right place at the right time kind of player. I think a lot of his goals and the stuff that I've watched, he just knows, he has a nose for goal. Like there's just players that know how to get there. Like I'm not comparing him to Ruud van Nistelrooy in any sense of imagination or anything like that. Cause I would be very stupid, but van Nistelrooy knew where to go. And that's how he scored a lot of his goals. If you watch his highlights, not a lot of goals are outside the 18 yard box, right? A lot of them are within that, you know, five to 12 yards from goal. And that's where he scored most of his goals from. But the thing with NDI as well is he's excellent off his first touch, which I've noticed with what I've watched, a lot of his goals come off the first touch. Not saying he doesn't score many if he has the ball in his feet and he has to kind of do something with it. But a lot of the goals do come off his first touch where, you know, as a pass and then he's just able to routinely slot into the back of net. So this is where guys like Bukhari coming in from the wings and Stepan Mitrovic from the other wing, this is when they're going to, you know, have to get involved and make sure that they, you know, cross in that perfect ball to where NDI can get on top of it. And he's also great in the air, which is uh, something that we need as well. I think Olenka and, and Kraso are, are are good, but I think that him being really good in the air is, is also that's something that you want in, in a center forward. And that obviously translate in, translates into the defensive side because now when you're in corner kicks or free kicks, the opposition, you can have someone like NDI who can get onto those free kicks and, you know, clear them out of danger. So I, I think that's that's another thing that kind of uh, resonates with, with having height. It, it's it's You can do it two ways, right? It's not just offensively. You can do it defensively as well. Um, Three-year contract, I believe, with him. It was a club record. Four million plus another million in um, bonuses, but that's been eclipsed. Just another video that I'm going to do with um, Huang Boom, who we signed from uh, Olympiacos as well, is brought in as a uh, midfielder. But NDI, obviously, it, I guess one of the concerns is he has kind of bounced around to a few teams in the last three or four seasons. I honestly don't look at it like that. I, to me, that doesn't really mean much. I mean, Lukaku's, I'm not comparing him to Lukaku, obviously, but Lukaku has been on three or four different teams in the last three or four years and he scored goals wherever he's gone. So, I mean, it'd be stupid to sit here and say that, you know, he's not a quality player because he has bounced around a little bit. I think that this run in Turkey kind of showed you what he is and, and he's, you know, at that pinnacle in his career where um, he is uh, scoring a lot of goals. He plays for Senegal. I'm not sure. I haven't didn't really find the stats about how much he's, he's played for Senegal's national team. Uh, I haven't really looked it up to tell you the truth, but he is, is from Senegal. So, um, 
yeah, hopefully this is this is the type of signing that we need heading into the Champions League and into the top group that we do have. Uh, so hopefully Shreif and Yai will, you know, kind of slot into that starting 11. And I think the question becomes now, like, how do you deal with this starting 11? Who plays where? Because with either Kraso or uh, Olainka, one of their jobs is going to have to be on the line or you're going to have to shift some players around. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I just think that it, I think it was a huge wake up call losing that match to Vojdovac and where we couldn't score. We ended up getting a goal in, I think, the 91st second minute from a penalty where Kanga scored. But it was, we we just couldn't break them down uh, in those final minutes to score that third goal. And I think someone like Shreif Endiai will help us with that with his height, where you have to, where you're going to have to, maybe sometimes you're going to have to demand a double team, right? Where you send two guys to kind of try to man mark him. And that obviously leaves someone else wide open. So uh, hopefully for us, that's what he can do. And We'll see what he can provide. Let me know in the comments below if you have watched uh, NDI play at all, what you thought of him as a player. Would love to know in the comments below. I, unfortunately, have not watched him as a player, uh, play as a player. So um, the only thing I've watched is pretty much YouTube videos. So, yeah, if you can, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about the signing.